Welcome superstar. In this video, we're going to talk about how to price your virtual group coaching program. And I'm going to give you some actual dollar amounts. Let's go. Pricing is one of the most critical strategies that you can master to improve your coaching business. Why is that? Well, because every dollar that you are able to charge above and beyond your costs is actually a dollar of profit. It goes right into your pocket. Generally speaking, the most pervasive issue that I see with coaches around pricing is under charging. People get nervous and worried that people aren't gonna pay their prices, so they drop, drop, drop their prices. Now the problem with underselling, which is undercharging for your services, is that number one, price is a signal of value. And so as you drop your price, you're lowering the signal of value, which means if your coaching seems less valuable, people won't take it as seriously and they won't work as hard. There's a famous quote, don't know who said it first, which is that when people pay, they pay attention. And nowhere have I seen that be truer than in the coaching space. Now that said, you also run the risk of overselling or overcharging, which is somewhat of a problem, but not nearly as common as you'd think. Most often underselling is the bigger problem, but overselling can be a problem because people can then feel like they didn't get a good deal or they didn't get their money's worth or they didn't get the value. So that's why I'm gonna share with you certain kind of standard price points in the coaching industry. And before we dive into it, I am gonna say that I am not a fan, and hence I'm not gonna teach you about pricing by the hour because I believe that that makes you more of a commodity. Um, time for money, I don't think is a good way to create your business model. If you know anything about any of my videos, then you know that I'm all about having a big back end for your business. And one of the fundamental principles that I stand by is to package your programs as bundles of services and deliver based on outcomes rather than based on time. All right, you ready? Let's go. Generally in the coaching industry, I think of things in three basic categories. DIY, do it yourself, done with you, and done for you programs. DIY virtual coaching programs are, that's really outside the scope of this conversation, but just so you know what I'm talking about, that's where you create a course or something that's pre-recorded and you deliver it to people in an automated way and you're not doing anything live. That's not what this video is about, but those are generally in the lower price points. Generally programs like that, we're talking from a low of about $97 to a high of about 997. That's kind of generally the range for these DIY courses. I have a DIY course, it's called Retreats to Riches. You might've heard of it. If you wanna check it out, by the way, you can see it at retreatstorichescourse.com. The second category is done with you. And that's what I think of as the general category that virtual group coaching fits into. There's a live component but it's not live in person, it's live on a computer. Generally speaking, some sort of group program. Now, I personally am a much bigger fan of intimate groups at higher price points. And you can also do less intimate groups, more mass groups at lower price points. So in this space, it's unless you have a very big audience, and I'm talking you know, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people, say following you on social media or reading your emails on a regular basis. If that's you, then yeah, I think you can launch a lower price point, large mass market type of program and do very well with it. The problem is that that type of structure doesn't work as well when we have smaller audiences or narrower niches. In those cases, or, or earlier stage, in those cases, my advice is actually to go for more of a boutique model, a more boutique price point. So higher price, lower volume. So virtual group programs that are higher price, lower volume, generally the price point I like to see for something like that is in the neighborhood of about a thousand to about 2,500 or $3,000. Maybe pushing up to 5,000 on the high end if you're targeting a very high end audience 
and you already have a lot of credibility with that audience, they already know who you are, you have some demand built up, then I think you can push those price points up. But generally speaking about 1,000 to 2,500 with about 2,500 being my absolute favorite price point for an intimate, intensive group program that has one very juicy outcome that you're promising. Now, one thing you might be thinking, and this is pretty common, is that, oh, well, the longer the program is, the higher the price point, right? That's, you know, kind of standard common sense. Not so fast. What I've actually found can seem a little bit counterintuitive until I explain it probably, which is that when you can deliver a very juicy, compelling outcome in a more compressed time frame, that often increases the value the perceived value on the client side. So for example, the model that I specialize in, the one that I use myself and that I teach people the most about, and you can check out my hundreds of videos on my model, I call it the small events, big back end model, or really the big back end model. And the concept of the big back end is that you have up front an intensive, compressed value proposition at a boutique price point over, for example, my favorite is over the course of three days. So a three day, all day long for three days straight intensive, whether live in person or virtual, but I'm doing it now virtual since COVID started. I've been doing it now over three years virtually. So that's the model I use. It's a three day intensive at a very lower volume, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 15 to 20 people at a price point in the neighborhood of about $3,000. So that works really, really well to then enroll people into a one-year program, which definitely is more expensive. But if you do a, a one-year or a six-month program that's, that's kind of light, that you're meeting maybe every other week or once a month or something like that, the, the value proposition actually drops. In my opinion, you're better off having a one really juicy outcome delivered in a more compressed format and that drives up the perceived value. So to give you some examples of some of the clients that, that I've worked with and what they've done to create that live virtual group coaching program price point. So I have clients who've done, for example, come in and over three days, I'll coach you to write a new book outline and to come up with the chapter titles for every chapter of your book, come up with the title and subtitle of your book, and come up with the stories and principles that you're gonna put in each chapter. That's a very juicy outcome for somebody to do in three days who's writing a new book, right? So compressed time frame, higher price points. Now, another thing to consider as you're doing these virtual programs is offering some sort of upgrade or upsell. So having your standard package in a virtual group program at say X price point, let's call it $2,000, and then offering a VIP upgrade to that package. Now the VIP upgrade might include, for example, a one-on-one -on -one deep dive with you. And that's an easy way to segment your audience so that you're capturing more profit, right? This is a, an old business strategy. You see airlines do this, right? Where they charge more for the same flight for their first class passengers at the front of the airplane with the bigger seat. So you can do the same thing and you can segment your audience into the ones who are more of a basic price point person versus someone who's like, oh, I want the upgrade, I want the VIP. And here's the cool thing about that. There's always somebody who wants a VIP. It's about, in my, I'm just making this number up, but more or less, I would say somewhere between 10 and 20% of people are usually willing to pay more to get a higher level of service. Remember that. And then of course, you wanna have your next step ready to go. You wanna have that back end program and make sure you're offering it somewhere about two thirds of the way through your initial program. In your three day program at about on day two, around the middle to the middle to the afternoon of day two, that's a really good time to bring up your big back end program. If you've got a six week, online week four week five is a good time to bring up the next step and what you'll want to do is is price that next step in my opinion somewhere between four and six times the price point of the original package that's the big back end and generally 
it's, in my opinion, some sort of ongoing program, some sort of mastery level program. So you'd get the basics done in your initial group coaching program, and then your big back end is where you continue to work with people over time. I hope this video is helpful for you. I'd love to hear about what you decide to go with as far as price points. Feel free to let me know below in the comments, share, and I'll look forward to hearing from you. And if you wanna know more about working with me and finding out if and how I might be able to support you in building and growing your coaching business, I have all sorts of different ways that we can work together. Check me out at superstaractivator.com go. And if it's a right fit, we'll share some ways that we can work together. I look forward to meeting you.